Well, good morning, everybody. It's the uh, 23rd of October 2020, and uh, the greatest controversy I've heard for a long time last night on the news. And uh, the uh, Australia Post, and there you've got a picture of her, man the manager. She earns with bonuses. Uh, the, earn is the right word, I don't know, but uh, about $4 million a year. Now, if I was in the government or I'd urge the government to say, right, we're going to reform the Australia Post and the manager will not get $4 million a year, they'll get $1 million. No bonuses, $1 million a year, run it properly or get out of here. Now, she gave away Cartier watches to uh, half a dozen managers. There were $3,000 each, these watches, for doing a good job. Now, uh, they got a, and here's an article talking about Qantas and Australia Post signed a $1 billion deal to deliver parcels by air around Australia. Isn't that wonderful? Now, it is a good story, but a $3,000 watch for doing your job, for doing what you are employed to do. I am outraged, and no wonder I saw the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, on, on the edge and upset and genuinely enraged by that story. And when the woman was facing a judicial, oh no, sorry, a Senate inquiry, I think it was, she said, it's not taxpayers' money. The, woman, the, the, the senator said, yes, it is taxpayers' money. No, it's not taxpayers' money, she said. We're a corporation. No, you're wrong. And... Uh, they lose billions of dollars and the Australian taxpayer pays the losses. So Australia Post is funded by the Australian taxpayers. And I am absolutely upset that this sort of thing is going on. And I'd like to see reform and I'd like to see the government. I don't care which government, by the way, whether it's the current government or the next government, reform it. To such a degree that these people are paid well, but they're paid to do a job. They're not given gifts for doing their job.